Alright everybody, welcome back to Forspoken. Um, this is a nice little series in the last episode. Nice little series, nice little game. In the last episode, <laughs> um, we have uh, learned about our past. We were abandoned at a uh, subway tunnel, I assume, as a kid. Um, uh, we lost our cat in a fire. There was gangs happening, all that. And um, we got teleported after we picked up a bracelet that is currently on our arm. If you can see it, I don't know if I can. No, okay, it's right there. Um, anyways, uh, hi, I'm Dark Sino. I don't know if I said that. Let's go and uh, see where we got teleported to. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, the game is very fun, and I think I fixed a few settings for the recording so it won't be as uh, bad. I didn't check for the audio, so I am sorry about that. Damn, that is a serious draft. So I'll check that soon or in the next episode. I kind of just went straight out into it again. So I like, I fixed some settings and just went straight into it again. Whoa. See, like, it's buffering right here. I like this place, though. Where on earth is this? Asia. Who's there? And technically not Earth. Well, not what you would call us, anyway. I swear to God, asshole, show yourself! Show myself, I've shown. I'm showing. I can't get more showed. Show myself in tears. Where are you? Right here, at the end of your arm. The thing that you so fruitlessly tried to remove. <laughs> the realization. <laughs> oh, hello, yes. So oh, perhaps you're smarter than you look. No. Yes. N no. Yes. You, the one talking to me right now, are this. Cuff? Cuff? It's a bit reductive, isn't it? Cuff? Gauntlet, maybe. Van brace. Oh, van brace. Van brace. Yeah, no, it's definitely van brace. No, no, no. This is batshit bananas. Ah, and yet it's the truth. You stop your hurting me now. Seriously? No. But what you're doing is completely futile. How is this happening? Well, what were you doing before this was happening, hmm? I was... Doesn't matter. Chapter 2, Stuck. This is interesting. Still here. Whoever is doing this, stop. This is one sick joke. I am out of here. You can't run away from me. I am literally attached to you. Oh, but it is. Listen to me, Frey. How the hell do you know my name? We are bonded. Bonded? What do you mean, bonded? Why is this happening? This is... No. On bond. On bond now. As you can see, you're stuck with me. And I with you. And only you can hear me. Stop! Stop talking! This is completely insane. Frey, slow down. You need to listen to me. No, what I need is to figure out how to get back. I thought I wanted out. I was wrong. I was in a bad place. Well, this place might be worse depending on how you look at it. What do you mean? I'm trying to find like secrets. I'm sorry. Quiet. What? Hide. <gasps> Is that a motherfucking dragon? Shh. Don't let it see you. You think? Is it gone? Yes, and we should leave this place as well. With that thing out there, 
I don't think so. I'm sure the creature is far away by now. And besides... What? You won't last long without anything to eat. Fine. And how exactly do you plan on getting out? I believe climbing that wall might be our best option. Uh, conversation with Cuff. You will occasionally be able to stop and chat with Cuff about recent developments. What has happened? Send a big topic to start a conversation. Hey, Cuff. Interesting. Uh, what do you want to talk to Cuff about? How did you wind up in that store? How did you become a bracelet? What are you? So, if we are bonding. Correction. Bonded. Whatever. If we are stuck with each other, then what's your deal? My deal? Who are you? I am what you see. Lovely. And I suppose you'll tell me more if I answer your riddles three? Uh, I don't follow. Never mind. Hmm. Why were you rusting at that old shop anyway? Good question. I've been wondering that myself. All I do know is that before I visited Earth, I was here in Athia. Wait, what? That means it must be your fault I wound up here. How dare you? It was nothing to do with me. If you must know, I'm as keen to find out what brought us here as you are. With serious continent in another world that is somehow both suddenly beautiful and deeply unsettling, a thick, foreboding blanket of what looks like fog envelops its medieval-looking buildings, adding to the otherworldly effect. And if that wasn't proof enough that Frey is very far from home indeed, there are deadly monsters to contend with too. Ah, <sighs> great. Mere days before Christmas, Frey finds herself in a court facing... Oh, yeah. Okay. So... That was just a recap of the first episode. So, have you always been this? This? This. This chatty bling. As I recall, no. What do you recall? Hmm. I traveled here. Athia was not my home. I, like you, am an outsider. When I arrived, there was a lot of turmoil between the Tantas. The who was? The Tantas. They were four very powerful women who ruled Athia, each with a special ability. Like what? Magic or something? If by magic you mean the ability to turn me into an inanimate object, then yes. Okay, um, the Tantas. The powerful sorceresses who once ruled over Athia. Athia's four realms, each embodied a different virtue, which in turn shaped how they chose to rule. They were much loved by the people of Athia, who enjoyed lives of plenty under their guidance, but according to Cuff, all was not necessarily as harmonious as it might have seemed on the surface. What in all creation is that contraption? It's a smartphone. It's for texting, calling, games, videos, taking selfies, and... Which, by the way, I am not gonna explain to you, so don't bother asking. I know what a selfie is. Really? Not really. What else can that thing do? It also has GPS, which would usually tell me exactly where I am. So where are you? Somewhere between purgatory and hell. It told you that? Sure did. And the phone Frey uses to stay in touch with the world. At least that's what it's supposed to be for. It's mostly filled with pictures of the adorable Homer. Fortunately, Athia doesn't seem to get good phone coverage, cell phone coverage, so she can only use the camera. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Oh, one of my talents, if you will. Hmm. It seems like there's a small settlement up ahead. 
Perhaps we can rest there. Mm. Cove Compass. Cove has many powers, including the ability to show the way to your next destination. If you want his help, just hold X to have him point the way onward. At certain times, this feature won't be available. When this happens, an icon in the game this will appear. And you know that how? What are you? The extent of my abilities is nigh on limitless. I'm a Vambrace after all. Uh huh. <laughs> So, this is Athia? Janu. Janu? I thought you said. Athia, big picture. Janoon, small picture. Janoon is part of Athia. I get it. Like New York City versus New York State. Exactly. <clears throat> I think. Sorry, the quality ain't the best. Hey, look at you. I'd be careful. Come on, don't be shy. Seriously, I wouldn't. Let's just keep moving. Why are you so freaked out by this fella? What? Whoa! Because it's not as it seems. You tell me that now? Shit! Well, don't just stand there. Hmm. Break you need your unique bond with Cuff to call for powerful offensive spells. Press left mouse click to fire off a quick magical attack and hold it down to build up something more powerful. There are various attack spells available. Hold down E to open a menu where you can switch between them. What the? Don't start panicking now. Ah. Uh. Did I just do that? Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moved shit with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved shit with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just moved shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. If you could just master these new abilities, with my help, of course. Um, did you not just see me take out that gnarly beast? Oh, bring it, you mangled monsters. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ugh. No one to fight in that direction, don't you? <sighs> Fine, let's head back. Ow. Okay, experience. Experience is earned by defeating foes that earn enough, and your level will increase. You will spawn. Okay. <clears throat> Find some of Destination. I'll do exploring later. Whoa. What the hell? What is this weird feeling? There seems to be some sort of malignant miasma in the air. Okay, turning back now. It doesn't seem to be affecting you, though, does it? Besides, I doubt there'd be much benefit in retracing your steps. So this miasma, what exactly is it? It's quite mysterious, isn't it? I suspect it might be what's causing all the local wildlife to look so peculiar. So, how come it doesn't affect me? How come, indeed? Could it be thanks to your commendable choice of traveling companion, perhaps? No, not that. Definitely not that. She's such an ass. I love their, like, relationship. Nothing but ruins. Looks like no one's been here for a while. I wonder how long everything's been in this shitty state. Perhaps we should find somewhere else to search? Mm -hmm. Uh, Cuff Scanning, you can call upon Cuff's powers to help you detect nearby enemies, and items can be extremely useful when you're trying to figure out what might be hiding around the corner. There is something there. Oh, oh. And of course, now we have 
to deal with an even bigger one. Lucky me. I can hunt the enemies. Use all one of the enemies. Uh, you will see the last one I found here. Oh, it's that all. Oh, come on. Magic. You level up and earn some mana, which can be used to teach Freya new spells. In order to do so, you'll need to go to the magic section of the main menu. Okay. <clears throat> you can spend mana here to learn new spells. Mana is gained by leveling up, and can also occasionally be found out in the field. Uh, let's add a new spell to your skill set. Hold down enter to learn. I'll hold down space bar. And now in parkour. Okay. Not bad. Thanks. I told you Professor. to call me Van Brace. Try to mean Sure, cuff. Sure. Shit! It might be wiser to run this time. No kidding. Uh, magic Park 4. You will want it. The flow ability, which enables you to perform magic parkour, use this to break into a spring. See if you can get on that with any low level of obstacles in your path. Or WASD, plus control to try it out. You can also press and follow it on a quick jump in the wall. This looks like a big one. Okay, this is awesome. I am catching some serious air. Very impressive. Just try not to catch some air into a serious nearly grave. I could run like the wind, and I'm not even getting tired. Please, try not to get too carried away. That was close. Where the hell are we now? The big city, I suppose. Hello? Anyone home? Say something if you can hear me. Not a sound. Well, let's keep looking. You should probably keep an eye out for somewhere to rest, too. Let's see what's over there. Get food. Uh, setting destination. It's easy to lose your way in the world, so make use of destination markers that have cuff help you find the way. Any destination you mark will also be tracked at the top of the screen. You can see the buildings or landmarks you might want to mark for a visit in the map section of the main menu. Cool. Is it over here? It's right here. So it's okay. The center your recent rooms are also tracked. There's a place nearby where you can take a little to set a marker. Well, this place is fun. I imagine it was once. Happy, smiling faces on every corner. No, I can picture it now. Damn. Everything just looks broken. Not exactly the most poetic of descriptions, but yes, I suppose it does. Gameplay, The Break. The world Frey finds herself stranded in is seemingly devoid of people. Buildings in buildings stayed ruined and vicious monsters roam the ravaged land. Frey christens the strange phenomenon that seems to be the cause of all these problems, The Break. Is there nowhere that's not, like, broken by this shit? I suppose there might be somewhere. No one there. 
No one at all. Where the hell did everyone go? Your guess is as good as mine. All right, a land lost. 624-3878. Athia was once a rich and vibrant land full of life and laughter. But then the corruption came, and from the first day it emerged, it was clear that nothing would ever be the same again for its once carefree people, those it touched, were lost forever. Those lucky enough to escape it were forced to abandon their homes and flee it, flee to Kapia. Kai Paul. That's what I'm going with. The only place where safety could be found, or so they believed. Suppose our only choice is to keep looking. Uh, enemies can't enter this building, making it safe to use this rest. Oh, nice. I could use a rest. Sounds like trouble. Yes, and given what we've seen so far, I'd say you need to be very careful in case you're planning on investigating. Hmm, nah. Uh, the Four Realms. Athia is made up of four realms, each governed by its own Tanta. To the north lies Junun, Junun which is rich, fessoned forests. To the east, Prainost. Heavy with mountains, westward the great plains of Visuria stretch off to the horizon, and to the south the shimmering waters of Avalet glisten in the sun, or at least they did before the corruption brought misery and ruin upon the land. Oh, it's blue. Shit! What is it now? Is this the break shit's doing too? I believe so. It corrupts everything it touches before destroying it completely. Now hurry up and get out of here while you still can. <sighs> oh, is it the wagon? <sighs> oh, fuck! What now? Well, for starters, I think we should run. Too late for that. You gotta fight it. Hello. Magic purple to dodge at many types of battle breaks as you're running and take a quick step out of the way. You can also go down and form magic purple to invade all matches. You can find different magic purple to invade Okay, what the hell do I do here? Fighting might be an idea. How the hell am I supposed to fight a dragon? Anything that big must have a weak point. Uh, piercing attack. Certain powerful attacks can pierce right through cuffs and defenses. You know, a lot of damage if prey doesn't invade them in time. If you see the, the, the Tata sound of the enemy building up one of these, so press control, press and hold the DSD to get out of the way. Fast. Here's an idea. Stop faffing around and do something. Hey, dude, get off my back. Predict its next movement. Fuck. Don't let up now. <laughs> Careful, you're about to get badly bit. You were saying? Even the best of us make mistakes. <clears throat> Whoa, did you see that? So gratifying to see my hard work paying dividends. <clears throat> yeah. 
Die! That's the stuff. Keep at it. Man, this is dragging me back. It's fucking intense. I'm sorry, I'm not really talking. I'm, I'm trying. A lot of clicking. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, I was close to killing him. Still fucking run. Yay, more mana. Do you think it's dead, the dragon? Well, it did get crushed by all that rubble. Oh wait. Okay. Um, <clears throat> enemies. Uh, Canestherius. While this corrupted creature may have largely retained its former beastly form, its consciousness has been utterly lost to the break. It retains its instincts for roaming in packs, though, and you will rarely come across just one. Uh, Limnoskion. These one uh, diminutive carnivores roam the wilds near Junun. And have sprung fangs all over their bodies due to the break's effect. Even though they've grown bigger, they have lost none of their agility and love to able amble up to enemies, then leap nimble, nimbly into the air before attacking. Chapalania, bears of whom the break has caused to develop very small but noticeable mutations and made extremely aggressive. They move much as they always have and attack mainly by barging into their enemies and swiping them with their enormous paws. Just be aware that they're now more frighteningly powerful than ever. I think I messed up. Because I wanted to upgrade. And it has this. It has this. I don't know what this is. Hello? Whew. Um, magic. Level three. Come on, give me my roadmap. <clears throat> Hello? 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 There we go. What is that? Um... Guess I can't really do anything. Um, okay. I do know I gotta get the fuck up out of here. Much cover here. That's how our dragon friend doesn't succumb to the urge to blast us with its beam of death again. Oh, I just can't catch a break. 
of it now what are you trying to get me killed it has a blind spot trust me <clears throat> yeah, then I'm about you <sighs> nice work show it what you've got Just throw us. Any bright ideas? Uh, yeah, make this fucker let go. But you'll die if you fall from up here. I'm gonna die anyway, asshole. Are you all right? Uh, I think so. <laughs> that was quick thinking. Looks like there's a town up there. Hope. A terrifying black serpent seen darkening the skies all over Athia. The wind of its wings alone is ferocious, and anyone foolish enough to get too close will be bitten, scratched, and whipped with its enormous tail before they even had time to think. After that, the great blast of energy it can generate from the core in its chest, and you have an enemy so formidable that anyone facing it will have only two choices, run or die. And I got a lot of resources. Oh, coin. We can... Okay. Fully one that isn't deserted. Well, you'll never find out if you don't go and see. I swear I've done everything to make it not do this. Oh, whoa, oh, hey, hey, over here. Oh, we're saved. I don't even trust. I'd be so freaking huh? hesitant. The hell? Move, monster! Hey, the fuck you calling monster? The monster speaks! Yeah, of course I speak and put your pointy stick away, asshole. Move! All right, move it! Where are we now? This is the city of Sipor. Why are they speaking English? It's my experience that languages share commonalities across many dimensions. Okay. Any answer works for me, I guess. Quiet! Keep moving, fiend! Ugh, of course. Back in court. <laughs> Let me go! Uh, uh, easy. Settle. Settle. Who are you, child? 
Who are you? I would humble thyself and answer their questions. I got this. I'm used to repping thyself. I don't think you comprehend the gravity of your situation. I've gotten myself out of much tougher scrapes than this, thank you very much. So why don't you shut your shiny mouth and let me do the talking? Good her. She speaks with invisible beings. Is she in cahoots with demons? What? No. And, and who uses cahoots? I would like to hear the answer to Councilwoman Bullet's question, child. My name is Frey Holland. I do not know how I got here. I am exhausted. I am starving, and all I want is to go home. Her vestments are strange. Where is she from? Hell's Kitchen. You see? She is Hell's Spawn. How else could she survive in the corruption? Please. How did you emerge from the corruption of Janoon unscathed? I wouldn't exactly say unscathed. It is because she and the corruption are one and the same. We must execute her immediately. Wait, what? No, it's crazy. I don't even know how I got here. Please, listen to me. I believe we need her. Who wishes to address the council? Forgive me. I am Odin Keen. All this woman is guilty of is surviving the corrupted lands. We have much to learn from her. Until now, we've only met her with blades. Perhaps we could extend her a hand of kindness. The devil will accept your kindness, as it bites your hand, spreading its venomous corruption into your veins. We must deal with this interloper swiftly. Councilwoman Ballette, please! Hmm. Both Odin King and Councilman Janesh have made very compelling arguments. Council is divided. Therefore, there shall be no blood spilled today. But, heed my warning, child. If you prove a threat, we will have no choice but to eliminate you. Take her to the Tower of Binoy. Please, Councilman Ballet, your ruling is too harsh. The council is adjourned. She has done nothing wrong. Wait, what, uh, Tower of Benoit? What's the Tower of Benoit? I believe it's a prison. Please! What? Oh, hell no, I'm not getting locked up again. Let me go! Let me go! Don't touch me, asshole! Oh. No! Damn. <sighs> yeah, it is hard. Okay. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up! Get up! Get up! Look, I am imprisoned a million miles from home in a Ren Fair nightmare. Just let me die in peace. If you die, I'm just a meaningless bauble that they bury you with. And I am fine with that. Just leave me alone. You know what? None of this is my fault. This is all your and, fucking and tell me fault. How exactly this is my fault? Can we just not talk? Fine. Fine by me. Suit yourself. I'd love a bit of silence. Fantastic. <sighs> you say another fucking word. You know, Ooh. I never thought I'd miss the Hell's Kitchen courthouse. All right, so that'll be it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoy. Uh, Frey has got herself in a sticky situation here. Um, <laughs> so, again, I do hope that you all have been enjoying um, 
everything so far. I know there's been a few uh, cuts in this one, and there has been some issues with the loading and everything happening. The cutscenes I am working Damn on. Damn it! I this is you. going nowhere. So. Yeah. Um. I don't know what happened there. So. Yeah. Anyways. Uh. I'll catch you all later. Bye.